So we've seen synchronous replication and we've seen asynchronous replication. And those two seem like two extremes. But a lot of times you can actually create hybrid configurations, which I'm going to call here semi-synchronous replication. Now, semi-synchronous is not an industry standard word. In fact, semi-synchronous is used primarily by MySQL as far as I could find. Uh, but different databases have different terms for this. The core idea is that you can create a hybrid between these two, between synchronous and asynchronous. So let's take an example. So let's say we have four machines, each of them hosts a database, and they're all copies of each other. All right, so they're all replicated. Let's say that these two are synchronously replicated, and then these two are asynchronously replicated. So let's say a write comes in over here. The write will always be synchronously replicated between these two. So you'll get the fault tolerance benefits that you would have of synchronous replication, right? which means that if one of these machines goes down, the second machine can always take its place. At the same time, these two machines are being replicated asynchronously, so they can serve as read replicas so you can actually perform reads from these two machines as well. So that really helps you get high read throughput. Now this kind of a topology makes sense if let's say your read load is very high, right? So if your reads are much greater than your writes, then you can keep adding more asynchronous replicas and uh, handle more reads. Now keep in mind that the consistency will still be eventual here because there will be a lag when you replicate to these two machines. So these two machines might have slightly out of date data. And so this doesn't solve the consistency problem. So it's only suitable for data where eventual consistency is okay. Now, many DBs are configurable for different kinds of replication scenarios. They have different names, for example, Cassandra has the idea of consistency levels. Uh, MySQL, also, of course, calls it semi-synchronous replication. But the whole idea is that you can actually set up a hybrid setup depending on the needs of your data.